is a case of pyloneal cyst this is a dumbbell cyst you can see one cyst is here another cyst is there which was touching at the coccyx patient was, uh, patient was having severe pain at the coccyx area the upper uh, this uh, abscess cavity which was full of hair we have removed hair from this area this this are the hair which has come out from this these are you, you cannot expect this to be healed with any medicine unless and until we remove this cyst we remove this hair there is no chance of getting it healed whatever medicine you take the medicine will only decrease and increase the frequency it will just decrease the infection temporarily see this thick cavity is there which is full of pus just again this if you can see this this thin track which is traveling down you can see this this bluish thing this is the extension of that dumbbell track which is going down down and communicating here now i cut in this region because that is so narrow see again the pus is coming this is pus and unhealthy granulation tissue look into it see this was also paining constant back pain constant back pain was the cause of this because of this hair also there are here and if you notice both are communicated i showed you that small communication so this can be a dumbbell cyst formed by pyloneal sinus and if we try to clean more hair also i can see the hair this this is the hair which is coming out there are more hair inside which will also sound similar these these are the pyloneal sinuses which which cause the recurrent infection constant low back ache many of it many times patient keep on getting treatment from the spine surgeon or the orthopedic doctor for the back ache and when they finally realize that this type of fracture these patients get relieved very well so this is another case of pyloneal sinus but uh, the difference between the routine and this case is there is a double cyst which is communicating we can call it as a double cyst with the pyloneal sinus